Oh, hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I love makeup. Today I am going to be trying a few new items that I picked up on my recent trip to Los Angeles and I'll tell you all about that coming up. So if you want to see how I did this look and hear some stories, make sure you stay tuned. I am going to just kind of do a little chit chatty, get ready with me, play with some stuff today um, because I just got back from California and I got a few new goodies at the Sephora there that they did not have at the little tiny Sephora here. Um, so I'm very excited to play around with you guys. While I was in LA, I picked up this Milk Hydro Primer. I've heard such good things about it, but also if you recall from some of my other videos, I have terrible luck with primers and it making the foundation lift up off my skin. Um, so I've heard this one has really good grip and stick, but I wanted to kind of try just the smaller size before committing to a full bottle. Um, so while ounce per ounce, this is not a great deal compared to the larger size. Um, this is going to last me quite a while. I think I've used it a few times already and um, it hasn't gone down much. So we'll see how it goes. It's such a different consistency. It's kind of clear and like <laughs> sticky like that but it you so how you use it is you put it on your skin and then you allow it to dry down for they say a full minute but I've kind of found that giving it a little bit longer than that makes it work even better um but I do I've used it like I said I've used it a few times and it does seem to work pretty well as far as getting my foundation to stay it doesn't have that um you know like when you use a silicone based primer and it like looks like it's just sitting on top of your skin so far i haven't found that with this but the first time i used this of course i did not read the directions so i put my foundation on super quick after i put the primer on and basically it just slid all around my face because i didn't let this dry down first um so i'm gonna let this dry for like two minutes and then we'll come back and get into the foundation that is now dried down and like my skin feels really smooth. Okay, do you remember in like elementary school when you would put Elmer's glue on your hand and let it dry and that like feeling it got before you peeled it up? That's kind of what this feels like, but not in a bad way, in a good way. I feel like that wasn't a great description, but it was accurate. <laughs> um, so, but it does have like a little bit of a tackiness to it. So I feel like it's gonna have a good grip. Um, and here we go with the foundation. This was the other item that I picked up when I was in Los Angeles. Um, this I have been wanting to try ever since it came out. I've heard so many really good things on YouTube about it. Um, this is the Tarte Found Sealer Multitasking Foundation. It has an SPF of 20 in it, which is super great. Um, and it also has Babasu oil, which is a really great um, skincare oil. Let's find out about it. Right, so this is what I looked up on Wikipedia. I didn't want to look on Tarte's website because I feel that marketing speak on websites doesn't give you actual like information on things. So here we go. So this is apparently Babasu oil is a clear light yellow vegetable oil extracted from the seeds of the Babasu palm. Um, so it grows in South America. It is a non-drying oil used in food cleaners and products. Um, this oil actually has similar properties to coconut oil and can be used in the same context um, and can be a really good substitute for coconut oil. So it has um, high melting points relatively close to human body temperature so it can be applied to the skin as a solid that melts on contact. This heat transfer can produce a cooling sensation that is an effective emollient. Very interesting. Um, so that's really interesting and nice because when it um, when oils heat your skin temperature, that means that they turn to a liquid, which means that they can absorb. And it's got a bunch of fatty acids and um, other great stuff in it. So I'm very excited about this one. I've tried this one twice, I think. Like I said, the first time I tried it with the primer that I didn't let dry down, I almost returned them the next day because I didn't like how they performed. But then I thought later that I probably did it wrong. So we're gonna see how they work together now better. Here's what I'm actually like nerdily really excited about it's the packaging on this guy not only does it have an air pump which I absolutely love they're the pumps that push up from the bottom so there's like no wasted product it also does this okay let's get this thing on I had the lady at Sephora match me and I think she did a pretty good job she put me in the shade 24 G light golden I feel like it might be just a touch too yellow um, but then again that was also 
on my third day of vacation and I'd gotten a sunburn because I didn't even think about putting SPF on my body, just on my face. So it actually might be the perfect color. I think that color looks pretty good. Um, I know that I read that this has a medium coverage and it's kind of buildable, um, but it seems like it covers my red pretty good, you know, on the first application. Yeah, and it looks pretty good over that primer too. So I went to LA about a week ago now. I've been back for a few days um, to visit my BFF and we went to a pink concert. If you haven't been to a pink show, go. Even if you're not a fan, the show itself is so good. She's so entertaining. If you don't know, she also does insane acrobatics. Like she's strapped into harnesses and is flying above the crowd while singing live and being amazing. So it was just a really fun show. We had a really nice time. The setting had a medium foundation that can be buildable, but honestly, I think I'm pretty happy with the coverage as it is, so I'm not gonna try to build it up. I'm just gonna kinda do a little easy dewier look today. Um, but I think the coverage looks really nice and I think she did do a pretty good job with the match. I'm still a little pink from my sunburn, so I'm thinking it'll even out. I just went and filled in my eyebrows off camera because it's kind of boring to watch because I can't do it and talk to you guys at the same time and I prefer to be able to speak with you guys than just sit here and do my eyebrows, which takes 100 years, even though they're looking a little crazy today. <laughs> today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. I've used this one other time and I remember really liking it. Um, so I wanna go in today and just try a few of the other shades and a few of the other shimmers. Um, I used the yellow last time right here and I thought it was really nice, but I'm really kind of digging this peach color. It's called Coral Punch and maybe these up here. I don't know, let's play around and see what we do. I'm gonna start with the shade Berry Ice here. Um, yes, so it was really nice to go out to LA and see my friend. Um, we were talking while I was out there how we haven't seen each other solo in the longest time. Like she comes out here to visit, um, her mom still lives here, my whole family's here, so she'll come out for holidays, but you know, during that time we're all just holiday mode, so it's all family around all the time, and we'll like sneak out and grab a coffee or dinner or something together, but, um, it was just really nice to have just us time. Um, she's been my BFF since we were like 18, 18. Like we've known each other since high school. We, came, we got really, really close the first year of college. Um, so that's like 20 years of BFFness. And we lived together for the longest time. So when we moved out, I mean, we still talk to each other every day, but we like definitely need our like us time. So it was really nice to have that because we haven't had it in a while. Now I'm gonna use Coral Punch and we'll see how it does. Um, so yeah, she has this like, <laughs> she lives in like a really fun spot in Santa Monica where we didn't even drive the whole weekend except to drive into the city to, or like to a different part of the city to go to the concert. Um, that's one of the things I miss so much about California is like living in a neighborhood where when you walk places, you actually get to places. <laughs> that is definitely one thing I miss about California is like the access to just stuff to do. Um, like when I went to Darcy's place this last weekend, we walked and we could go to restaurants. We went to a couple of bars. We walked to the beach. Um, there's like movie theaters in walking distance and I miss that. All right now I'm gonna use sweet tea here. When I lived in San Diego, I lived in a neighborhood and then Mike moved in with me. Um, and we lived in this neighborhood that was very similar. Um, our neighborhood was a little bit more hipster so towards the end things got very expensive and kind of like um, but we lived in this neighborhood that we absolutely loved because it was the same thing you could walk to this is scented it doesn't say it's scented well at least sweet tea for sure is it smells like those remember when you were little those strawberry shortcake dolls that were like that scented weird plastic scent that's what it smells like not mad about it at all and now I'm just gonna use a little bit of this shimmer here called main squeeze and just put it on the inner 
areas. So that was just, it was just really nice. And after this winter that has been such a long winter, it was just nice to be outside and where the sun was shining and just really enjoying being alive for a little bit. That sounded kind of morose. I meant just, you know, enjoying the day. Um, so it was a, just a really nice short trip and it was so good to go, but it was really great to come home. Um, I miss my boys for sure. And, but I think it was good. Mike and the little guy got to have some time together and you know, do some dude bonding. And that's pretty. I think I'm just gonna kind of call it that for the eye look. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara. I've been layering these two kind of a lot lately. They're both Wander Beauty. Um, this one is the Mile High Club and the Unlash. This, they're just good together. So I'm gonna go put these on and I'll be right back. So that's mascara on. I'm gonna warm up a little bit with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ticket to Brazil. Yes, so came back from California and there was still snow on the ground, but turns out springtime actually finally came and all of the snow has melted. We've had just the most gorgeous few days the last couple days. So my kiddo's been able to go play outside. We're gonna get our garden planted soon. Um, actually, we went down and just kind of checked it out to see what we wanted to plant and how the garden was looking as far as what we're gonna need to do for maintenance before we can plant. And my, I think it was my grandfather planted years ago. He's been gone for four years now. Um, and he hasn't lived in this house for like seven, but planted a strawberry patch that comes back every single year. And it's already like sprouted up and coming up out of the ground. So we're gonna need to get in there and get the weeds out so they can actually have room to grow. But I'm just like so surprised every year how like big and strong these strawberries are. And I love it because it's just kind of a nice like, hi from Dennis who I haven't seen in, you know, five years almost, no, four years. Um, it's just like a nice thing and like a nice reminder of him and my grandma when they lived here. I'm gonna grab the Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Mega Glow Highlighting Powder just to super like glow up all over and put on a lip gloss and we're gonna call it a day. Yeah, so very excited to get the garden going. So glad it's spring. Like I just appreciate that I don't feel like I'm trapped in my house like I do in the winter time. Like I'm definitely not like an outdoor winter type of person. I don't snowshoe, I don't ski, um, I don't do any of that. So that's why I love springtime because I can be outside, I can be comfortable, I can be doing things I actually like doing um, and I'm happy. For lips, I just want to do like a really glossy thing. So I'm going to grab this Mally Lip Gloss in Blossom and just go with the shimmery lip today. Okay, that's actually a really pretty gloss. I haven't tried it on its own before. I just always used it as a little bit of a topper. This is really pretty. This was one that came in in a lower beauty box and I really like it. Mmm, <laughs> perfect. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for me today. Um, thank you for joining me. I had a nice time getting back in the swing of things, just chatting with you guys, and kind of trying a little bit of a minimalist, really fun, pretty glowy look. I might be recreating this one a few more times in my life. So far, I like this foundation. It seems like it looks pretty good. Um, it just kind of looks like my skin. It's one of, I guess, one of those your skin but better kind of things. It doesn't look like, you know, I have recoverage. Um, and it does have a nice kind of sheen to it, like a little bit of a luminescence. I don't think that's actually in the foundation, but maybe with that skincare, that little bit of baba seed oil in there helps with that. I just feel like plush and glowy and nice. So I'll give this another couple of tries, but so far I think I really like this foundation. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I will love you forever. Have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.